a sneaky Linux bet tonight. Tonight we've got Puppy Linux 5, or Lucid Puppy, or Loopy. Loopy, could be a bit loopy, I don't know. Who of them thought that name, I don't know. But uh, Anyway, basic puppy setter, as you can see. I'll open a few programs as we go along. Now, Puppy Linux is now on this version, using some of the repos from Ubuntu, the Lucid department. So that should give us some extra programs, as you'll see a bit later. So you've got Inkscape there, that M-Paint is the other one, opened Abbey Word and Numeric, as you already see. And they all work really fine. I've not had any problems with it. A few people have reported problems, but personally, not me. A few extras here, quick pet. The Connect section has changed, so you get an option of what you want to use, basically. So I'm pretty connected, but basically if you wasn't, all you would do is go down to ETH0, click on it, wait for it to connect, and we're there. Click OK, you're ready to surf the net, basically. So that's a nice little addition for an easier way of connecting. There are other pups that actually connect automatically, but they've not actually put it on Puppy 5. I don't know why. Anyway, Quick Pet will be coming back to it a bit later. You would like to see the bits and bobs in there, I think. Browse. Now here's what's changed. You get to choose which browser you want to use. So, what have I always did that? I can't remember. Oh, you get Firefox, The Monk, Chromium, Opera, Puppy Browser. Now, Puppy Browser is already installed, but some of you may find that a bit too basic. I think it's okay, but hey, it's up to you. So, what ones do I install? I'll tell you what, I'm going to go with the Monk, and we'll do a full SeaMonkey Internet Suite install. Now, this is the new version of SeaMonkey, as you can see, it's downloading. New version of SeaMonkey, anyway. So, it should iron out a lot of the problems we used to have, like the box always popping up when you didn't want it to. So, it's downloaded. We'll click OK. It starts installing SeaMonkey for us. We can wait a little bit longer. And it's installed. You click OK. Here comes a Tango bar. You wait for that to go away. And in theory, all should be done for us. And it says up there, successfully installed SeaMonkey. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, we go to our browser. And as you can see, nice and quick. I'll open it up so we get a full screen for you. That's nice, isn't it? I like, I like, I like. Yes, super. We'll go to search, and then when you go to search, you get the sidebar come up. I didn't like that bit, so we'll get rid of that. Now we'll see if it all works properly, as it's the new Sea Monkey. we we'll go to the Bubaka, and we'll go straight to the iPlayer. Now, most people want Flash to work straight away. Now, before in Public Linux, with a lot of the distros, you used to have to put it on yourself at a later date. Not very good, was it? So, if we open up a program, we'll go to Do, the one that was on on Saturday. It all looks fine so far, so we'll click to play. 54321, sorry about my slow internet. It looks like it's going to work. Lovely, even better if it does work, won't it really? Works just fine. I must also say, I didn't have to use Exvessa on this one, I could use Exorg for my video, which is really nice too. I can't show any more of that, because what will happen is, I'll get told off, because it's against the law. Don't want to do that. Do we now? So yeah. I like the new doggy icon in the, mo in the middle, should I say, it's really nice. It's lifted for your email, I think it's XChat, Osmo for your calendars, GXZ as usual, Connect we've already been to, QuickPet. Should we go to QuickPet? Yeah, let's go to QuickPet. QuickPet is an easy way to find your popular programs that you want you to download onto your puppy distro. So look, we've got Songbird, Wine, Clan Bomb as a game, Gimpy's there, oh, love Gimpy. Seen these here before me. Look, see Monkey we've already installed, and the Firefox, Chromium, Opera, and Thunderbird a mail client as well. And right at the bottom, we've got Composer. Composer is really good for creating your websites. That's just a nice little addition. LX Music I've downloaded, we'll play with that a bit later. Cinderella, now that's interesting, don't you think? Hmm. Drivers also in this section for Radeon ATI and NVIDIA, this is the 195s, and an update section. This is a first for Puppy can update puppy straight away you don't have to just reinstall but I was too frightened to press that just then I might try it a bit later who knows so I'm going to download audacity because we want to make sure that's going to work don't we really so here we go we're downloading audacity as you can see I'll cut the middle bit out again as well because it took too long and it'll make the video too long you click OK and it starts installing for us you just five or three to one he's done click OK again Tango bar in the middle, wait for it to go. In theory, all should be installed, and it says, Yeah, successfully installed Audacity. Now, of course, you want to use Audacity, really, don't you? So, what we're going to do, we're going to go into the menu and we'll go to where it is. 
There you go, multimedia thing. Oh, there's only three there, but no. Multimedia, there's extras on the end there, look. So what we're going to do, there's that Audacity and Ancinarella there. I'm going to click Audacity, open her up. Lovely, 1.3.11 beta. Uh, quite different from the last one I was using, puppy. But maybe that was just me, or maybe I was being lazy and not getting the new ones. But yeah, it seems to be looking good. I've not used it yet, but I will do it over the next few days and I'll let you know. I'll do a part two sort of thing. I click there to close. That's pretty cool, don't you think? I do like a new look, that's quite nice. Right click again, you can get the menu up. So we're going to go down again to multimedia. There we go. Oh, I missed. It's very quick, as you can see. And I'm going to open up Cinderella. There we go. 54321. Blimey, that was quick for an editing program. Now I've not used Cinderella for a long while, but it looks all pretty cool here so far. You've got your viewer, compositor, and the actual program itself and the Cinderella resources. Now I'm not going to use that straight away, but it's there. So in the next week I'll tell you what it's like and if it actually works good enough for us to use on the YouTube or any other video stuff. But hey, apparently they've all been tested, but who knows, may not work on certain systems and stuff like that. So I'm going to close the old boxes down, one by one. That's it, Cinderella gone. This is a full install by the way, it's not running off the live CD and it's not running in a virtual box. Full for me, as you know. Anyway, back to multimedia again. What are we going to do? Oh yes, LX Music Player. Now, it reminds me of another music player and I can't remember the bleeding name now. It's just gone, I don't know. But yeah, it works alright, super. And you've got songbirds you can have as well if you wanted to. So yeah, there's several you can use. Pity you can't get rhythm box so. Right, files, all the same as you're used to in Puppy, no different console setup, if set up all your sound and video stuff. Ah, Puppy Package Manager's still there, so if you wanted lots and lots of extra programs, they are there. Now, whether they all work or not, I can't say, so that'd be up to you. I know in early development, a lot of them wouldn't work, because it's through Ubuntu Lucid, so I did have a few problems getting them all to work at the same time, through dependency problems, etc, etc, but apparently most of them are now sorted. But we'll soon see, won't we? Hey, when we start using it. Yeah, plenty of stuff there. Loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. And you get the multiverse as well. And the Wolf stuff, if you want to use Wolf stuff. But as you know, Quirk is based on Wolf and he's doing different stuff. Old Barry, what a man he is. So anyway, we're getting near the end of the video. I'm going to go back to Quick Pet and just show you around one more time. Oh no, I'm going to do a puppy update, yeah. Fogo, hold your breath. Click. It ain't crashed. There are no updates available for Lucy Puppy. And that's gone bang. So there's some things they're getting right here. Well done to the guys that have built this. And they've been taking a long, long time in doing it, and it's been quite a difficult job at times. And nobody gets paid, don't forget. This is all for you out of their own spare time because they want you to use Puppy. So, yeah, on the whole, Puppy Linux 5, I really like. Should I close down that first? F, sorry, sorry again. On the whole, I like it. I've not had it crash or anything, I will be using it over the next couple of days to make sure that it all works correctly and I will report back to you what I'd be thinking. So, not much more to say. Woof woof to you too. Sneaky Linux. Going out to have a beer, I think. <laughs>